Hey, this is Honor of Serene for CreativeCow.net. In this tutorial, I'm going to take a look at a technique that is discussed quite frequently, and yet the process of creating this effect remains a mystery to many people. The effect that I'm referring to is this effect, where most of the image is black and white, and yet a portion of the image, or more specifically, one color of this image, is preserved. To recreate this effect, simply place a copy of your video clip or your image onto the timeline and apply the color pass effect found under the image control folder. Simply click on the color pass effect, drag it and drop it on top of video track 1, and you'll notice that the entire image turns black and white. However, this is not what we want. To fix the problem, head over to the effects control window, click on the setup button next to the color pass filter, and you'll be presented with this screen. The left hand side of this screen shows you your original image, and the right hand side shows you your output after you've modified some of the settings of this effect. Another thing that you'll notice is as soon as I take my mouse pointer and place it anywhere over the clip sample window, it turns into an eyedropper tool. The eyedropper tool indicates that any color selected with this eyedropper tool will be preserved in the final output. So if I take my eyedropper tool and click on the color green, you'll notice that part of the color green is returned to us in the output. To get more shades of green back, simply bump up the similarity to about 20 or more if required and hit OK. As soon as I hit OK, you'll notice that we have successfully recreated this effect.